honestly think this is about to be the biggest unboxing I've ever done and that is a very big statement. Well, hello everybody, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my birthday unboxing in real time. Some of these things I haven't even opened yet. As you can see, things are fully wrapped. It's actually currently two days before my birthday, but for my actual birthday, I'm going to be in the sunshine, on a beach, hopefully sipping a few cocktails. I'm also not seeing my family before I go, so if I don't unwrap these with you, I'd be doing it alone, which is kind of sad. Before we get into this, I just want to say a big disclaimer, and that is the fact by sharing these things online, I'm in no way showing off or boasting, and I never want it to come across that way. I just share all things luxury with like-minded people on the internet who love these kind of things as much as me. And I'd also like to add, even though I'm saying that these gifts are for my birthday, a lot of them I did actually buy for myself because I'm a big believer that you should buy yourself gifts all year round and especially when it's your birthday. But as I open each present, I'll of course tell you who it's from. So all of the wrapped ones are actually from my mum and dad and I have absolutely no clue what's inside. I'm sorry, but this first present is actually cracking me up. Tell me you're getting old without tell me you're getting old when your parents are buying you bird feeders for your birthday and you get excited about it. Just in case you're new here, I've just recently moved out of an apartment into a house. So now I have a garden. I have lots of birds and lots of squirrels. So when I put the seeds out for the birds, the squirrels just eat it. So I believe this is a squirrel proof. Yeah, it's a squirrel proof peanut feeder. So it means the birds can feed and the squirrels won't be able to get into it. And honestly, I have to say, I am made up with that gift. Thanks, mum and dad, but to be fair, my dad won't have any clue what is inside any of these presents. Let's do everything from my mum and dad first because they're the wrapped ones and I feel like these are gonna be the biggest surprises. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't even funny, but it is actually funny. I swear my mum is trying to turn me into David Attenborough or something. Like she's got me literally bird watching. But this seems to be an airtight container full of peanuts for the birds. They actually smell really nice. Do you feel like we can eat these peanuts or are they only for birds? I also have a card. I should have opened this first. For a wonderful daughter on your birthday. This card is full of wishes. It's hoped they all come true. Even the card is garden themed. It has a squirrel and flowers. Is that a hedgehog? I think it's a hedgehog. To our gorgeous daughter Freya. We love you very much. Have a fabulous holiday. All our love, mum and dad. Honestly, I feel a bit emotional. Do you know what? I feel like in my old age, I just want to cry all the time. Sorry, I don't even know what came over me then. I feel like reading that card from my mum and dad just made me realise how lucky I am to have them, you know? And I don't know what it is about birthdays and crying, but I always seem to get so emotional when it is my birthday. And it's not because I'm sad I'm getting old. I mean, we're lucky if we get old, you know? But I just think it's a bunch of emotions. So I've just literally opened this up. And it's a box full of all different things. It's from the White Company. Well, one thing is from the White Company, I think. I have an LED travel mirror, which, you know what, is going to be perfect for my upcoming trip. How handy is that going to be to do your makeup, like, on a flight? Love that. In here, we have... Oh, it's a little wooden candle holder. And it's in the same wood that my bedside tables are in upstairs. You know, in the new guest bedroom. It matches that, so I'm definitely gonna put that in there. Oh, she got me a Fortnum & Mason tea strainer because I recently got a PR package. I think I showed you guys it, it was from Le Mer, and inside that package was mint tea, but it needed a strainer to be able to drink it. And I sort of said to my mum that I didn't have one, and she's got me one from Fortnum & Mason. How gorgeous is that so I can have proper tea? in the morning. That is such a thoughtful gift. And then the reason the box is the white company is because inside here, she's got me an air purifying diffuser, which is from the white company, which I'm sure is going to be gorgeous because I love everything from the white company. Like their things are beautiful. I actually have a lot to do today. So I kind of need to speed this up a little bit. Oh my goodness. It's so tiny. Look at the size of that. Our portable. Oh, you can take it around with you dual purpose negative ion air filter is the must-have fragrance accessory to freshen up rooms and purify air how clever is that and you can travel with it and she also got me a new white company dressing gown honestly best gifts in life i'm sorry a new dressing gown like you just cannot beat them and i'm always getting my dressing gowns covered in makeup so i always love a fresh one and the last thing in here is a fragrance oil which i'm guessing is probably for the diffuser 
and it's in the scent sea salt oh thanks mum i will obviously text her as well but how lovely is that i actually have one more gift from my parents well actually i have two more gifts but one of them i've already seen but i need to show you it because it's already in the garden i saw this in store and wanted it so much guys stop it's a wreath for your door like a spring wreath i've seen so many people with really gorgeous sort of like spring wreaths on their door i feel like wreaths are usually a christmas thing but i feel like in the last few years more and more people are having them for the different seasons and i'd seen this in the white company did i put it on the vlog did my mum know that i'd seen this yes i think i put it in a picture on my instagram maybe that's where she saw it but i've definitely seen this and loved it and thought it would look so beautiful on my front door. I love it. And now I'm gonna show you the other gift that they got me. As I say, it's already in the garden. It's raining, so I don't wanna go out there right now, but it looks really bad from this angle, but it's actually a marble bird bath. Honestly, it's a present that I never expected, but I know I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy. But we're gonna kind of put it in between the flowers just here. And yeah, watch the birds have little baths in it. Honestly, my mum and dad have spoilt me rotten. And at my big age, I technically shouldn't really be getting anything for my birthday, should I? So yeah, I feel so incredibly lucky with all of that. And it's all very thoughtful gifts and very handy gifts as well, which is something that I love. And then what my friends got me, well actually in fact, my friends and I have all decided we're no longer doing birthday presents for each other it kind of got out of hand you know it's always someone's birthday nowadays someone's baby shower engagement party child's birthday there's always something to pay out for so we made the decision at the beginning of the year birthdays were stopping which sounds kind of sad but at the same time what we've decided to do instead is just make sure we always do something for everyone's birthday so the money we would usually spend on a gift we're now just spending on lunch or a dinner out or a night out to celebrate that person's birthday but two of my best friends, I bought presents for them since like we were so young and I feel like we couldn't stop. Well, I didn't stop for them and so I feel like they didn't stop for me. Not that I expected that, but they got me and I'm so excited about it. I just hope I can keep it alive. But they got me an orange tree, honestly. This is such a great present. I am the hardest person to buy for, like truthfully, I buy myself everything. I have a shopping addiction. So if I want something within a month, I'm gonna go and buy it unless it's like crazy money, which then my friends aren't gonna buy it either. So I don't even know how they came up with this idea. I did mention on one of my moving vlogs, I think I saw an orange tree in B&Q and I said how cute they are and I'd really like one. So I don't know whether they saw the vlog, I'm unsure, but I am made up with this gift. I do feel like it's a little bit of pressure because like now I've got to keep it alive. But I read the instructions. Apparently you only need to feed it or water it every 10 days. I feel like I can probably manage that. It likes a lot of sunlight apparently and the oranges are edible. So honestly, if you ever come to my house, fresh orange juice on tap. I believe they got it from Wild and Bloom. It got delivered to my house in this little basket as well. So if any of you are after an orange tree, that's the place to go. And they also got me one other thing, which is a gift voucher for Nobu Pilates. I've really wanted to go to Nobu Pilates for ages. Truthfully, I just haven't been because I just haven't found the time, but they got me a voucher so I can go and have a Pilates session there and probably some sushi after because obviously you gotta do that. But another couple of very, very thoughtful gifts. This is very exciting, but I'm gonna stick with all of my presents, like the presents that people got for me, and then we'll move on to what I got for myself. Well, this next thing is huge. Look at the size of this box. Like I could actually fit inside it. And I have to say it's very heavy as well. But this is my birthday gift from Reese. If you don't watch the vlogs, Reese is my boyfriend. I honestly cannot get over the fact that he got me this. Like I am actually still shocked. He is actually away with work, but he still sorted my gift out. So I got it before my trip. Honestly, that guy with gifts and thoughtfulness is the best bloke in the world. Like honestly, he never misses. But I feel like a few of you might guess what's inside this box because I spoke about the fact that I wanted it in my wish list video of 2024. I do not make those videos, by the way, in the thoughts that anyone's gonna buy me anything from my wish list. 
But it does help Reese when he's thinking about what to get me for my birthday and Christmas. But all jokes aside, I genuinely don't ever expect anything and never anything like of this size. But I am very, very, very grateful. And I know this is gonna get a lot of use. So drum roll, please. Ta -da! Okay, that was really underwhelming because it's the wrong way round. But he got me the Louis Vuitton cabin case. And honestly, it is stunning. I have wanted this case for years. Like, honestly, I've wanted it since it ever, ever came out. I just kind of felt like I couldn't justify buying it, but I've always wanted it. And all I can say is he must have watched that wishlist video because I mentioned it in there. And here we are. It's so bougie, it's so extra. It will get used a lot, but then again, I feel like I'll only use it on long haul flights when I know it won't go in the hold. You know, like Ryanair, EasyJet, which don't get me wrong, I am partial to flying with them because cheap flights, why not? But there is a risk it will get put in the hold and then it comes out smashed to pieces. So I feel like this will be more of a case that I use when I'm doing weekends away, like in England. And when I'm flying long haul, with Emirates, BA, Qatar, and all of those types of airlines where you know it's definitely gonna stay with you. But honestly, it's beautiful. It is genuinely a work of art. It rolls so smoothly, and it's honestly just so pretty. Like, I am obsessed. And it's something I will have forever, you know? I will have it for years and years, and it will never, ever date. It's very timeless, and I honestly just love it. And look how nicely it matches my outfit. Maybe I should wear this to the airport. Now we're on to everything I bought myself. And I have to say, there's kind of a lot. I have been having a little bit of a wardrobe refresh and clear out. And whenever I do that, I kind of get rid of some old things and make room for some new things. So let's start off with the things that I picked up from my Teresa. I love shopping with my Teresa. It's so easy. The delivery is great. I often find as well, they have things that other places don't have. Like both of these items are from Miu Miu, but they're not on the Miu Miu website, nor are they on places like Net-A-Porter yet or Farfetch. They just seem to be on my Teresa. But the first thing I got was a pair of sunglasses. By the way, I just love Miu Miu's packaging. It's pink, my favorite color is pink. I know it doesn't look like it, but genuinely, I love pink. So the velvet sunglass case just makes me so happy. And you also get a hard case as well. And honestly, I am in love with these sunglasses. I got them the day before yesterday. And because I bought them online, you never really know how they're gonna look on you in real life, but I think they look great. And the reason I got this particular style is not to replace my Celine ones, which I actually thought I lost, but I found again, thank God, but, not to replace them because I love them, but I feel like a lot of people have them. They're beautiful, but I wanted something a little bit different. The style isn't gonna be for everyone because they're quite small. And whenever I put sunglasses on on camera, I don't know why, but my camera goes really bright. So that is definitely gonna happen. But here is how they look on. They're so comfortable. I feel like they're so chic. Like I love them. I also love how you can see like a lot of my eyebrow around them. And yeah, I just feel like they're a really cool and classy sunglass, in my opinion. So happy with those, like I love them. So that was the first thing I got from my Teresa. And the next thing I got were a pair of sandals. Because as I say, I'm going to a hot place. I don't need another pair of sandals because truthfully I have a lot, okay, a lot. I feel like I have a slight sandal addiction. I feel like I have an addiction to anything that involves shopping, to be honest, whether it's jewelry, clothes, bags, shoes, everything. Anyway, I got these, which are basically like a flip-flop. To be honest, kind of given Havana for a really big price tag. This is how they look. As you can see, they're Miu Miu. They have Miu Miu written on the top, just there where the logo is, can you see? And this logo actually matches the sunglasses. I know like probably no one's gonna see that, but for me, I love those little details. And I just really wanted a pair of rubberized flip-flops that I could kind of wear to the pool, to the beach, and not really worry about them. And I felt like these did the job. So did a pair of Havanas. I did not need to spend this kind of money, but honestly, I just really liked them. And I feel like I'm gonna wear them a lot. The next thing was actually something that I had been on the hunt for for about six months. I saw these last summer. I didn't buy them for whatever reason. I just think I armed an ard for too long. Then I tried to get them, and of course they were sold out. So I asked Connie, Connie is a personal shopper, she will get you anything. So many of my things I actually buy through her because she just makes shopping so much easier, especially when the pieces are hard to get. I asked her a little while ago if she could keep a lookout for these shoes. She did tell me that they were last season, which I knew, and so there wasn't really much of a chance of me getting them, but you know, she will look anyway. And then last week, she texted me to say that she'd found them. 
Honestly, it was kind of bad timing because I'd already bought, you're gonna see in a minute, a fair amount of other things. And I really didn't need to be buying these shoes, but I've been after them for so long. I love them. So I got them, so guys, I genuinely think they are unreal. They are so, so pretty. Let me show you them in the box. Some of you might remember them from last summer, but they are a denim Chanel slingback and the print is just everything. On the front of the toe, you can't really necessarily see their Chanel, but from the side, you can see. And then on the heel, there's the little Chanel logo. They are just honestly beautiful. And imagine the outfit, like all white, these with a white Chanel bag, or even like with a denim jean and a white shirt. I honestly just think they are so, so gorgeous. And I've tried them on, they fit like a dream. They actually do feel quite comfortable as well. And I just don't regret the purchase whatsoever. I honestly love them. I got my regular size, by the way. I got a size four. And as I say, yeah, they fit really well. If you get into this part in the hall and you're thinking, Fred, this is excessive, this is a lot, I know. But please just allow me because I'm just having a bit of a moment at the moment. And I thought, why not treat myself? And as I'm going on a trip, I bought myself a couple of new hats. I hate my face being in the sun. In fact, I hate my body being in the sun. So I am someone on holiday who always has a hat on their head. So I recently purchased this, which is from Loewe. It's actually part of their collaboration with Paula's Ibiza. And I just think it's super cute. It's like a fisherman hat. So similar to their canvas ones that they've brought out the last few years that has like the Loewe string hanging down. Very similar to that, but this is obviously like a raffia material instead. It's got the Loewe sort of leather plaque at the front, but you can wear the plaque like to the side, to the front, however you like. It looks really cute on. I'm not actually going to put it on because I am going out and I don't want to ruin my makeup. And I also don't want to get loads of makeup inside it as well. But if you watch my next vlog, which is me when I'm going to be away, you'll see it on my head. There. And some of you might remember that around this time last year, I bought a hat from Gucci that has discolored on one side. I wore it on like three different holidays and it's basically turned silver when it should have been gold. I have actually contacted Gucci and they said that they would either repair it or replace it. So in the meantime, I needed another hat that was similar style, but not quite the same for this trip. Cause I feel like this hat is definitely giving sort of like boho chic, you know, like it's very different to this hat which i also got once again i know the hat thing is maybe slightly excessive but i wear a hat every day of a holiday okay so i needed a few options but this one is actually from celine i feel like this is so chic like so classy imagine it with just a pair of gold sunglasses on once again i can't put it on because i don't really want to get makeup all over it but just to kind of give you the look the impression i kind of look like i should be on a gondola in venice right now but it's honestly beautiful and it's just got a tiny little Celine Triumph logo just at the front there like that. And this hat actually comes in a few different sizes and I don't mean like the width of your head. I mean, this is the smaller size with the brim, but like they also do an even bigger one, but I personally felt like it was too over the top. So this is the one that I went for. Honestly, so happy with this purchase. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is how I'm gonna get this hat on holiday. Like I don't want it to get crumpled up in my case. So maybe I'm gonna have to take it like through the airport, which is kind of annoying, but, but like, this one won't be as hard to pack because it's a little bit more flimsy. I can kind of stuff it, but this one, I'm, I'm unsure. I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a task. Oh, when I was in Loewe, the guy was actually really lovely who served me and he gave me a little bottle of Moe. Honestly, does he think I'm an alcoholic? Now we're on to the part of the video that I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for. Although I'm sure there's a few of you that have fast forwarded everything else just to see what's inside of this box. That is actually something I would do and then I'd go and rewatch the rest of the video because I'm too impatient. But if you watch the rest of the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. So some of you might already know, especially if you follow me on Instagram, that I went to Paris the week before last. No, it was last week. Sorry, yes, it was like this time last week. I went to Paris for a couple of days, had a lovely, lovely time and I was very, very, very lucky to get a leather appointment whilst I was there. If you've watched my first ever Hermes unboxing, I explain more in that video of how I met a lovely, lovely essay in Paris. I feel very extremely lucky. They are amazing and honestly, I cannot thank them enough. I won't go too much into how I met them in this video because as I said, I've said it all before and I will link that video down below. But as I said, I was in Paris 
and I managed to get a leather appointment. But as you know, when you get a leather appointment, it doesn't mean you're actually going to get anything because they might not have stock that day. And I know there's a lot of rumors that fly around about Hermes with their stock and things. And I know that every store is different, but I genuinely do believe they don't always have stock. And I might be being very naive by thinking that, but I just don't think they do. They might have like one or two bags, but they might not meet what you're asking for. Because when you go to your leather appointments, you don't just turn up and say, oh, I'd like a Birkin, a Kelly, a Constance. You need to know your stuff, okay? So you need to know in your head and already have a love for Hermes to the point that you know what color you want your handbag in Hermes colors, what leather you'd like it to be, what size, what style. Like you need to know what it is you want. And once you tell them, what it is you are after, you have to give a few options, but what it is you are after, they then go to the stock room and see if there's anything there that matches your criteria. And I was very lucky that something in the stock room did match my criteria. But the reason for that is because I feel like my criteria has got a little bit broader. There's a lot of different bags I want. In the beginning, my first ever bag I wanted from Hermes was a black Birkin 25 gold hardware Togo leather. That's exactly what I got, which I still can't get over it. It's my favorite bag. I love it so much. But once I ticked that off the list, I then knew that my next bag I wanted to be also a Birkin 25 gold hardware Togo or Epsom leather, but in a lighter color. And I was quite flexible with what beige color it would be. I ended up getting a tube, which honestly, I love it so much and it goes with so many different things. I think it's one of the best colors from Hermes. So now I had two of my absolute dream bags. I felt like I wanted still lots of other bags, but I didn't really necessarily mind what I got next. Top of my list would have been a mini Kelly, but they are so hard to get hold of. So I wasn't really expecting that. After that, I was so happy if I got a Kelly 25. And if there was no Kelly 25s, I was happy with a Birkin 25. In terms of colors, if it was a mini, I would like black, gold, a taupe, pink, orange. I was so flexible. A Kelly 25, I either wanted gold, natter, cray, or any kind of gray or lighter color. For a Birkin 25, I wanted gold with gold hardware. So I feel like there was quite a big variety of different bags that I would have liked. But when my lovely SA came back into the room, because they put you in a little private room and you have a coffee, and I actually had a sparkling water, but it's a very lovely experience, although it is quite nerve wracking because you're just hoping you get something that you really want. But as my SA got the bag out of the box, I could tell what it was just through the shape of the dust bag, which I feel like is a slight talent, to be honest. And at that point, I felt like I was going to pass out. But of course, you don't know what color it is at this point, and you also don't know what the leather is. So as they opened the dust bag, every color was racing through my head. But as I saw the top handle, I knew it was one of my top colors. So without further ado, this is my gold with gold hardware. Kelly, my first Kelly, 25. And honestly, she is a little dream. Like, sorry guys, I just, I can't, I can't get over it. She's honestly beyond pretty. The size is perfect. And it's also cellier. And cellier means there is the white stitch going across it, which is the same as my Etoupe Birkin also has the white stitch as well, which personally I adore. I'm gonna open her up and show you her. It's so funny when they're new, how scared you feel with them. Like, I just feel so scared to touch her. So if I just remove the cloth, you will then see when I open her up, how different Kelly's look when they're open. No, I'm sorry guys, she is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I personally think so different to my Birkins, like it's such a different bag. I obviously haven't used it yet because I felt a little bit nervous and I wanted to unbox the bag with you guys first. But I think from just first impressions, it just is a totally different bag. But I know lots of people get confused between a Birkin and a Kelly, but I just think it looks totally different. Obviously it just having one top handle is the biggest giveaway. But Kelly's also come with a crossbody strap, which is inside here. And to be honest, the crossbody strap was one of the main reasons I really wanted a Kelly because even though I love my Birkins, like I genuinely adore those bags so much, they can be a little bit annoying because you constantly have to hold them either in your hand or on the crook of your arm. So if you're shopping and things like that, they're a little bit hard to maneuver around, where with a Kelly, you get the crossbody strap. It's a lot more versatile. And even the strap is stunning. Like, look, it has a mez written on it here. Can you see? And inside this little bag, I have the padlock. 
I don't know where the lock goes on a Kelly. Is it round like the top handle strap like here? And does it sit like that? Like here, like this? I'm unsure. The color is beautiful. Like it's honestly stunning. I just actually can't believe my luck. Like really cannot. Something I have to tell you all though is that this leather wouldn't have been my first choice. My two favorite leathers from Hermes are Togo because it's so durable and also Epsom because it's very stiff and I just like how it looks. This leather is swift and even though it is so, so, so stunning, I have felt a little bit scared because I've heard that Swift scratches quite easily. But with all of my big handbag purchases, I of course talk to all of my other handbag loving friends. And some of you might already watch Claire Chanel on YouTube. She has the most incredible Hermes collection. And not only does she have an amazing collection, but she's also so knowledgeable when it comes to bags. So I, of course, sent her my new bag and like with excitement, but I did say that I do feel like I'm gonna be slightly scared to use it because it's swift. And even though I love it and it's beautiful, like I'm a little bit nervous, but she has actually reassured me that swift leather isn't actually as delicate as you may think. And the scratches, if it does scratch, hopefully not, but if it does, it can actually be buffed out. And it's a really lovely leather long term. What I mean is it's a leather that ages really well. So I feel like having a bit of reassurance from her has just made me a little bit more comfortable to use it. But I honestly just can't get over it. Like it's absolutely incredible. Like look how it looks on the crook of my arm. Like the color, I can't, I just can't. I am so, 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 like how many times can I say so? But I am so happy with it. It is beautiful. And I just feel like my Hermes collection is growing and growing, but like, honestly, it's an addiction. Now I'm like, can I get a Kelly in Natta or a Kelly in Cray? Maybe a Birkin 25 in Grey, and I'd really love a Constance. Like, I need to relax, okay? I need to relax. I have an extension to pay for. My priorities are all wrong, all wrong. But like, can we just, can we take a moment? Can we take a moment for her? Sorry, my camera battery died, but I do need to wrap this video up because I've been talking like a motor mouth for so long. But I have a couple of other bits which I also got from Paris which I need to show you. And they are a couple of twillies that match, well they don't match my bag, but I got them so they would go on the handle of this bag. So the first one I got was this. It's black, navy and white, and it's got a really gorgeous paisley print on it. And I just thought the print was so interesting and just something a little bit different. And the navy against the tan looks absolutely fab. Look, let me show you guys how it looks up close. Can you see? I think that looks gorge. And I actually couldn't decide between two twillies, so I got another one as well. It looks really lovely against the tan. And it's got a different print on it. As you can see, it's got a belt on it just there. It's blue, beige, it's got a little bit of gold in there. And this also looks so good against the bag also, let me get rid of this one so you can see the difference, that would be probably more helpful. Can you see it? So eventually I will wrap this around the top handle just to kind of protect this because of course with bags like this, and what I mean is of a lighter colour, you can risk colour transfer even from your hands, like the oils on our hands, but also jeans and things like that. So you do need to be careful and Little twillies protect the handle. And they also look really cute as well. I don't know if you saw it, but did you see it, it says Hermes Paris? Just on that little bit there. Can you see it just up here? I honestly can't get over it. I feel like the orange is reflecting onto the bag, so it's making the bag look more orange. So I've just kind of flipped the lid round so you can see it. it's just a really perfect tan colour. And it's so beautiful. If any of you have a bag in Hermes Swift leather, please tell me how the wear and tear is because like obviously I want to keep my bag beautiful but I also want to wear it as much as I can because these things are bought to be worn, to be loved and to, you know, use. Anyway, I need to wrap this video up because I've been talking for, I'm looking at the time, I started this video an hour ago. I will have chopped it down so it won't be an hour long but I've been talking a lot. So as always, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did want to shop anything that I featured, I'll try and link everything down below and I will hopefully see you in my next one. So from me and my new child, goodbye. <laughs> Bye guys, love ya.